Hi everybody, it's Mayor Betsy. And I've got my mask on, but I'm gonna take it down so you can hear me clearer. Thanks for joining us today as we head into this holiday, holy weekend. I'm joined today by my friend and the CEO of DFW Airport, Sean Donahue. Sean, welcome. Mayor, great to be here. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for coming in. And Sean has his mask too, but he opted to hold it for the time being. We want you to know we want you to wear them when you go out of your house. I went to the drugstore last night and wore mine, and a lot of people had their mask on. So Fort Worth, as you know, owns part of the airport, along with the city of Dallas. So we're going to talk a little bit about the impact of COVID-19 on the airport, because it's a huge economic engine right. for us. About $40 billion, It is. About $40 billion on our local economy, and many of you work there or work in Jobs Connected. But first, I want to do our daily briefing on the numbers and where we stand. Today, Tarrant County has 637 positive cases, 20 fatalities, and 61 recovered cases. And Fort Worth has 254 cases, 8 fatalities, and 19 recovered. That's 22 new positive cases just last night alone. My thoughts and prayers go out to those who lost loved ones. This is never an easy report to give, but you have to know so that you can continue to stay at home and stay safe. So before we do the upport, update airport, I want to remind you, since Monday, we've seen 152 new cases in Fort Worth alone. But the good news is that's slower than some communities, and that means our social distancing and stay at home is having an impact. This weekend will be particularly difficult because it is Passover weekend and Easter weekend, the whole list of days for our Christians. I really hate not being with my family. I have a brand new grandson that I've only seen two or three times, and I would love to have him with me for Easter. But we're going to stay home, and we're going to ask you to, too. It's never easy, but it'll make it better for everyone, particularly for those you love. So, Sean, with the update out of the way, let's talk a little bit about okay. the airport. It is a $40 billion plus impact. How many people actually work at the airport or have jobs directed to connect it with the airport? Sure. Well, we're fortunate to have uh, 2,000 employees that work for DFW Airport. And there's approximately 65,000 people that work at various uh, parts of the airport. <clears throat> and then there's about a quarter of a million people who have jobs one way or the other associated with DFW Airport. That's a lot of people in this region. It really is. We had a board meeting today, and the board met virtually. It was interesting. We probably had the board's 12 members now. Let Correct. 12, yeah. And then we had probably 60 or 70 people on the phone call. It was a big, wasn't a Zoom meeting, but it was a big conference call, essentially. And you gave us an update on the impact of COVID-19. Would you share that with our sure. viewers, kind of where it's your thinking about the sure. airport and where it's going? Well, as many of you know, aviation is one of the most impacted industries from COVID-19. And for the most part, people have stopped traveling. And, and I would say that is a good thing as, as we practice everything we can do to uh, contain this, this virus. But to give you an example, Mayor, uh, at this day last year, we would have had about 200,000 customers going through DFW Airport. And today, we'll probably have about 20,000. Wow. That's a huge change. It is. And, you know, as you know, and you've been really driving this change at DFW Airport over the last five years, we've been very focused on growing the international presence of the airport. And effectively, international traffic has stopped. Just and again, just as a data point, typically we would have 10,000 people arriving on international flights every day. Uh, today, we will have about 300. That's phenomenal. That's a huge change. Talk a little bit, too, about the financial impact, because that has a huge bearing on the region as a whole. Right. I know that you have committed to not lay off employees. Right, so. right. And what we're, what we're really focused on doing, Mayor, is... Um, 
we are going to see a significant decline in our revenues. And airlines pay us uh, to use the airport, and obviously customers, uh, when they park or they buy something at the airport, they pay us. And over the last six months of this year, uh, we're going to see approximately $200 million less in revenues to the airport. But we're fortunate, and again, I, I thank you and the rest of the board. We have one of the strongest uh, balance sheets of any U.S. airport. Uh, we will withstand this. Yes. And at the same time, we're trying to support as many of our business partners as possible. And we've taken a lot of steps, and again, the board approved uh, many of those actions this morning to help all of our business partners during this time. And we had a big announcement several months ago about a potential new terminal. Right. You might want to talk a little bit about where you think that might be. Sure. About a year ago, uh, you, you joined me on stage and we announced with American Airlines the plan for the sixth terminal at DFW Airport, Terminal F. And obviously, given uh, the unpredictability and not knowing when traveling will come back to previous levels, we believe the, the prudent step is to pause that work. Uh, when American Airlines is ready, we'll sit back down at the table with them and we'll determine what is the best timing of construction and what is the right size of the terminal. Good. And I know you don't have a crystal ball, but you went through 9-11. Sean was with Virgin United. Australia. No, you were with United when right. 9 11 hit. Right. So you've seen it. So, and you saw a lot of changes, and all of us saw a lot of changes. That's TSA, security. Right. Would you make any predictions that you're going to see or not see changes to airport operations? Well, it's a great question. And, and I would say this as someone in aviation for 35 years, I, I never thought I'd see a greater impact than 9 11. And, and this is a far far larger impact than 9-11 on aviation. But I, I would encourage everyone to focus on what the recovery looks like. And there will be a recovery. Travel is a wonderful, wonderful thing for connecting people. It's, it creates a spirit of community like Fort Worth. And uh, it will come back. But we don't know when it will come back, but we're going to be ready for it. And we want DFW Airport to be a leader in that. And it will come back. We live in a global world, and so many of us, you right. have children who don't live right. here. I have, my children are all here. I guess right. we're homebodies. Right. But they want to see their families. And I loved the line this morning that you just said, travel creates a sense of community. Right. And it really does. And I, you know, three of our five kids live up in the Northeast. And I'm, my wife and I are desperate to see them. So we can't wait to uh, travel starts again so we can see them. I think everybody will be anxious to see that. That's you right. guys need to know, though, that DFW really is in a very good position. If you had to be involved with an airport, this is the one to be involved right. with. Right. Excellent position. We were founded years ago by a good crew, and we've held to those. So I'm pleased with where it's going. And Sean's an incredible leader. Thank you, Mayor. Thank, Thank you. you for everything you're doing. You're welcome. Thanks for being with us, Sean. Okay, we my appreciate pleasure. that. So tonight, the hard part of this virus is not behind us yet, folks, but it's not doom and gloom. This is a season and a weekend of hope that we should all rally behind. We should understand we're going to get through it, and we're going to be good things coming out of it. You may not can see it now, but you'll cross that bridge, and we will see a light at the end of the bridge. So I always close, Sean, by saying, y'all stay safe. Y'all stay healthy and y'all stay home.